right, everybody knows that lighting reflective products can be a huge pain. So I've gone out and found the most reflective product that I possibly could. And I'm going to show you guys today how to manipulate the light to get the best possible results. So as you can see here with this can, I not only chose it because cans are typically a very reflective product, but also because it has these silver accents on here that I think are going to add an additional layer. So I thought this would be a great way to demonstrate how we can reflect and control the lighting on reflective products. So there are three major things that I like to consider when working with reflective products. The first being, how can I control the light so that it complements the product nicely, meaning that we can see the branding, any logos or text very clearly. The second thing I like to consider is how does the light impact any props or supporting elements within our image? So as you can see with these oranges here, we want to make sure that the light is also interacting with those in a way that makes the image stand out. We could have this can perfectly lit, looking great, but if the oranges are not properly lit, the entire image just falls flat. And you can clearly see that in these two examples here, where in the image on the left, the oranges are just looking kind of flat and dull. As compared to on the right, we made sure that we considered those when lighting our scene. And then the final thing that we'll want to consider is how can we manipulate the light so that it doesn't just hide the reflections on our product, but it controls them in a way that complements the entire scene. All right, so as we're getting into the demo now, I want to first show you guys the importance of the color of your surface. So take a look at these two images here. As you saw in the beginning of the video, before I started styling my product, I laid down this white surface here. This is going to be reflecting up onto both our prop stand and our product. So it's very important that you consider what color you would like underneath. It's typically going to be something white so that you don't have any unwanted color casts on your product or on your props. So make sure that you take that into consideration as opposed to just having set this on my brown wood table here as you can see in the image on the left all right so as it stands right now the lighting on this can isn't too bad as far as the white portions of the label go the part that i really want to work on is that bottom silver part where you can't really read the text the lighting is really uneven and i would also like to see if we could clean up this logo a bit and get kind of that smooth gradient look going across the c for the logo so since we're working with direct light for this scene what we're going to be doing is essentially creating a channel using white foam core and then having the light traveling directly through that channel and doing so is going to help us control any reflections that would be coming from the sides or the front of the product if we were going to be using a softer more diffused light we could certainly shine the light through that diffusion material but in this case we need to make sure that the foam boards do not cast any shadows onto our scene so the light has to have a direct path to the product so let me show you guys how we set that up so what I'm gonna do first is address the left hand side of the can I'm going to start by placing my bounce card right here and then I'm actually going to bring this edge of it as close to my lens as I can. That way we can see, look how that's affecting that bottom silver portion of the can. It's taking the light about halfway so this side of the can is already looking much more even and much easier to read. Now I'm just going to do the exact same thing on this side of the scene. I'm going to get this board as close to the lens as I can without casting a shadow. And now we can see the other side is lined up really nicely. And now all we have to work with is this little strip here that you see kind of down the middle of the can. So now we've got this perfect little channel here for our light to travel through. It's containing any reflections that would be kind of coming in from the sides of the can. So now to address that little strip that we have on the bottom of the can, I'm just going to take a piece of paper and kind of place it above my lens to see if we can get that to disappear. I'm just going to see if I can slip this and balance it right on the top of my lens there and look at how that eliminates that strip right there on the bottom of the can. So now there's one more thing that I want to take care of here, and this is where the small details really make a difference. So if we take a look at that little degrees sign in their logo at the top, you can see the left hand side of that is still kind of blown out just because of the way the light is hitting it. So what I'm going to do is use another white piece of paper to just kind of redirect the light until that looks a little bit darker and kind of matches that letter C there. Just like that, yeah, see? And that also kind of gave the side of the can a darker edge to help separate it from the background a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get some glycerin on this can just to make it a little more hydrating, and then we'll be ready to grab our final shot. So 
So here's how the final image turned out. I think this looks so great considering we only used one light source and then just some cardboard on either side of our product. This is just proof that you can still create really professional photos without having a huge budget or just while using what you already have at home. I wanted to keep this setup as simple for you guys as possible. So let me know if this was helpful if you want to see more content around lighting your scenes on the channel. But otherwise, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,